Welcome back to the Mortuary Channel. I'm Frank Rivero with Pacific Interment Service. This is going to be part three of a four-part series uh, involving our decision-making process for buying the equipment to do um, hydrolysis here, alkaline hydrolysis or water cremation or aqua cremation, whatever one of those terms uh, you care to use. In this particular episode, what you're going to see is um, David and I uh, processing a, a remains over in San Diego uh, from start to finish. So you have a much better idea after this episode of, of what happens. There is a lot of editing in this particular video because um, it was just very long. This process could take up to eight hours. We actually got it done in five, and, but it still required uh, cutting and splicing to make it work. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And uh, part four will be coming up uh, as soon as I get some free time. Thank you. Uh, let me just start by an introduction. Okay, we're back. Um, Joe was really helpful. The uh, designer and proprietor of this machine. Uh, now we're going to actually go through a process. Potassium hydroxide. And um, we're going to go ahead. We have a subject here who is going to be uh, run through the process of uh, acclimation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put the lid on this and then just kind of walk through the whole process with you. Flip your lever. Flip it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Joe. Just 
the permit fees that we, well, we just got our permits, and the permit fees were running between, when all of a sudden done, probably five grand a year, <laughs> just the permit. So it's, it's not cheap, but, you know, obviously uh, doing the right thing isn't always cheap either. So sure. that's just the way it goes. Did you want to crank it up? Yeah, I'll be too. Okay. This is nothing, no effort. I can do it with one finger, literally. Now it's going to stop at the 35 degrees automatically, right? right? So as soon as it's at 35 degrees, we're good to go. All right, yeah, that's good. Okay. And you'll see that once this hits the sensor, it lit, so you know you're. All right, this, it, this, does this engage the unit? It's no. A, no, it's still, it'll still mm -hmm. continue to crack. If I was to lower it, and it broke that connection, it would stop the machine. Okay. So we're getting the process. All right, screen. so why don't we come over here? Let, I mean, I think uh, sure. we can just stand over here. So we we've entered the body weight, we've entered the amount of uh, alkali, salt, and we check our set points. We're at 302. We have a process period of two and a half hours. And then all we do, back to the process screen, is start process. Take Even tells you to press the start button. Open so, hot water fill valve. Yeah, what I would do is lower it again. Because we did, uh, before, we opened it, we, we lowered it, and brought it up a few times. It's probably confused. So we'll bring it down. It's going through yeah. some changes here. Sure, so it wants to reset itself, and it does that every once in a while. We're doing demonstrations. So going down is a little rougher, but not terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me know, you know right there, right? Now uh, go ahead, hit the, is it all the way? Is it? Is it? I think it has to touch. This plate. Oh, I got it. Okay, so the latch right there has to go over this part. Now you can go back up. Okay. <laughs> Nothing like a false start when you're uh, when you're filming it. That's good. Okay. So you get a red light here when you have uh, when this is engaged. So now your stop process should work. Okay. Thanks. Oh. I don't want to, uh, why is doing that? I'm going to move to manual now. Ball valve, vessel vent, clear the alarm. Oh, still in manual. There we go. Now we can start. It should be that easy the first time. <laughs> but we were doing a bunch of demonstrations. <laughs> Yeah, Opening of course. Opening valves and closing valves. No, it's just a, it's a camera, man. It's mm -hmm. a camera. Mm -hmm. It's always, you know, when you're on camera, you have a little bit of so, that's it. so right now we're filling, you can see uh, the <coughs> uh, process temperature at 65. But it'll, it'll, it'll come up as it's getting hot. It's not that hot yet. Obviously, it won't it's, start it's filling until... Um, well, the temperature will start going up until obviously the uh, you know you clear the 30 feet of standing water, and then you'll watch you'll watch that you'll watch that climb. Um, before it starts, you're probably around maybe 145 degrees, and again it's that's before just, the uh, just before the heaters start. So that that's well, just the water coming from the from the insta hot. Exactly right, right. And I, ideally, you want to fill at 180 degrees, make your cycle quicker. And so this is measuring how many how many inches of water. This will get up to about 41, which is about halfway up. And then your heaters will kick on. 
Where is the heater, when it kicks on, where do you see that or do you? Um, I never looked for it, but I um, imagine I could see it somewhere. Oh, you set the set point in 302, right? Right, but I'm looking for where I can see the, uh, the heaters on. You don't know where here they are, right here. So those are go green. And the uh, so paddles aren't going up either. Right. So in the manual, in the manual mode, you can uh, you can open and close. You know, uh, that's where, you, as Joe said, you do all your testing. You can test my heater. Right. Open and close. Now, who, did somebody come out here and train you to operate this? <coughs> no. Oh? No. No. I got my training in Oregon. Uh, and then once I installed everything, and, and basically it's just uh, trial and error. Uh, not so much trial and error, but but it's 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 almost a no-brainer. You know, getting the the uh, the times down as far as the coolant uh, bio responses at every setup, and they'll dial it in remotely. Everything is different: your water quality, your water temperature coming in. Um, it's all different. It varies by demographic. You see your level climbing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they say uh, two hours. Is that from the water itself coming out of there at 185 or 190? Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Okay. Yep, and this is to continue to climb. The reason why it's still cool is because the vessel is cool. If the cool. vessel was hot, it would just be, you know, come right up. But the vessel is cooling the water down as it goes in. Heat sinking. <laughs> shut it down and come back. All right, we're back and this is uh, now kicked into the uh, cool down stage. Let me see if I can get a better focus on this bad boy. All right, can you explain, David, what it's doing now? Sure, so our process temperature dropped from 302 and it's dropping. You can see right here, we're monitoring it. Right now we're at 290. This is our inlet and outlet. So as we, we cool through the, the glycol cycle that goes through the, uh, the cooling tubes, so it's coming out at 160, out to the radiator, and then coming back in at 131. So we're about 30 degree difference. So it's a 30 degree drop. So we can calculate a 30, 30 degree drop from 302 down to 160. And this has been going on now for how long? About five minutes? About five minutes, yeah. So can we time that to make sure that we know how long this cooling uh, cycle is going to go? Absolutely. Right. And let's go outside and look at the radiator so they can take a look at that. All right, we'll be right back, folks. Facility, and 
let's take a look at the computer screen. Where are we at now? 68. And we can we can it'll it'll it's set to uh, discharge the water at what 150? 160. 160. So it's still got to cool down 100 degrees. How long do you figure it's been? Do you remember what time it was when it started? Yeah, 24 pounds, so uh, it's been uh, 11 minutes. No, not even. It's been, uh, it's been 6 minutes. But if there was an additional tank to dump into, then we could dump into that tank at around 220. Right. Yep. Just below, well, below boiling. Mm -hmm. No, 210. 211. 211. So here about 23 degree drop, so it's 23 degrees cooler, right? And what's happening here is that this pump down here, and we explained this when Joe was on the phone, but this, this is a glycol tank, basically antifreeze, right here. And this is the pump right there that is uh, pumping it out these pipes outside of the building and um, and then it goes through the radiator and comes back so it's just a closed loop is what it is but it's taking the water and cooling it by going around in, in or it, what it's doing is it's running the glycol through those pipes in the machine excuse me and it's cooling it internally so the actual water that's in this vessel is not flowing through here. It's flowing through pipes that are located inside the machine. And oh my goodness, I'm sorry about the, uh, the focus, but you know, not a professional cameraman. Let's see if I, oh, there you go. There's a better picture of the glycol tank. So that tank is flowing up through the, 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 the glycol is flowing through the pipes that are at the bottom of this machine and cooling the, mach the water inside the machine. All right, we'll get back to you here in a minute as soon as we're up for the next process. Thank you. All right, David and I are back. The machine's at 161.6 Fahrenheit, the vessel process temperature. When it gets to 160, it's gonna automatically trigger the drain, right? Correct. Right. And it's going to drain out the machine, and then we're going to go to the next process after that. But I want you, to, you guys to be able to see what's going on here. So, is this screen going to show that it's draining at that point? Is it? Yeah, at this point, we'll go to the next step. Okay, so you'll, it's going to switch to the next step here. So we got 1.3 degrees. Now this has taken about an hour and some change, an hour and five minutes, hour and ten minutes, and three or two to Right. So we, David and I, have been talking about ways to try to make this a little quicker by maybe getting another tank to dump into, or uh, so it can be. Uh, the reason it has to be at 160 is that's what David's permits require to be able to go into the sanitary sewer. So that's why we're waiting for 160. And obviously, as soon as I turn on the camera, it's jumping from 160.9 to 161, because that's how I roll. Right there, 160.8. Sixty point six. For those of you that are interested in watching paint dry, this is a good exercise. One sixty point three. Shit. 
Can I just borrow it? Uh, 160. 160. Oh, 160.1. Damn. It'll probably go to 157. Let's see. Okay. Oh, do you hear it shut off? So now it's going to start green, correct? Yeah. Alright, let's go around the other side. We're going to take a sample of the water here as it comes out. There's a, a sample port right there. That's the pump right there that's going to open up and let this thing drain. And the pump obviously has, you know, a, a pump motor, and then that's the impeller right there in front of the pump motor, and then the valves and the valve controls are those red boxes with the valve control. There we go. The valve's opening up. You can watch it here live and there it goes. You see that spin in there? It's opening the valve. Oh. Yeah, it looks like cold water's uh, flowing. Something moved there. Didn't look like it was a hot either. Should be able to hear this thing flowing. Oh, there we go. There's the pump just kicked in. So it is flushing with mixing it with cold? I believe so. Automatically? Not yeah. Not so much for our idea. <laughs> it's already done. Okay. You getting any float? Yeah. You want to take some water from down there? Uh, I don't think it's the hot, hot. Huh? Oh? I don't think it's the, uh, I think it's still doing this. Take a look. Yeah. Float is going in. the cold flush? Or is it mixing? Mixing, see? Then the discharge flow control. I'm going to try it. See what happens. It's going to open that up more and probably shove more down. Okay. Transition. Careful because it's a 100%. Exactly. That's where it's at. Okay. Maybe you can't hear it while it's running. Is it getting full? Yeah, Alright, let's go get a let's go get a sample. Just want to show them what this water looks like. And there you go. Basically what that is, believe it or not, is soap. So, yeah, amino acid, but, but it's uh, sulfonated water. Yeah. All right, we're going to be back. I just wanted to show you the water. This, that's what comes out of the machine. And um, we will be back in a few minutes to open up the machine once it's cool enough to access. All right, back to you. Okay, we're back and the machine is totally off and David is going to open the door. So we've tilted it down. We tilted it down, okay. Take off our safety. Okay. Safety 
So now as you can see, it's not tilted up anymore. It's just pretty much level. Okay, he's opening the door. Now he's got to use that bar. Did you break the seal? Nice. Yeah. Well, I don't. It looks like it's pretty good to me. here. <coughs> I don't know why. Oh, the steam's <laughs> the steam. It's just soap. It's just soap. Look how clean they are. See that? Beautiful. Can we pull the uh, thing out or is it too hot still? Nope. We can? Okay. Uh, David's going to pull this out and we're going to do a little more examination of what's going on here. This has been a very, very successful trip here. So David, we completed this process in exactly five hours. Now we can we can also perform the rinse while it's in there of all this. Well, if you're doing production, I wouldn't suggest it, but I don't know. That tank is pretty darn clean, David. <clears throat> it really is. Okay, wait a minute, just killed the battery, hold on. Okay folks, uh, we're back uh, here, sorry about that. Uh, had a uh, dead battery actually, so fortunately I brought a spare, so go figure. Uh, let's take a look, David's gonna take, that's just, uh, by the way, that's just literally foaming, like you would see in your dishwasher or in your, uh, in your sink, it's just foam. And then nothing, see, obnoxious about it. Let's just take a look at the bones there. Yep, this, well, those are the bones. Interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that's gonna complete uh, this video. Um, I'm gonna give you an opinion video after this one. Uh, but right now, I am super impressed with this machine. Just absolutely very, very impressed. This is really, really it's about as good as I could have hoped for, frankly. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and we'll uh, follow up in a little bit. Thank you. Bye.